What's up, guys? Thanks about a hill. Wake up! To the Diablo Research Institution. Appreciate you guys for coming by. Like this video if you will. Subscribe to the page at the bell so you're notified next time I post a video. And blessings to my channel members and patrons. May your contributions be brought back to you sevenfold. And may you have many lives. Links in the description below. So, in this video, I am showcasing the sorceress that I made mention of showcasing in my last sorceress video, okay? Uh, it was a couple days ago, and that one was wielding the new runeward staff, which I kind of think sucks big you-know-what. In fact, I really think it sucks big you-know-what. Because why would they go out of their way to make a runeward staff and make it complete ass? You know, the thing requires Zod rune. Uh, and you're basically almost just as well off having dual spirit. You get style points for using it, but other than that, it just really sucks. But what I wanted to do here is try out this build that wields infinity in the main hand. Because I'm kind of fresh off of that video, alright? Well, I gotta try it again. I gotta try doing Player's 8, Cast Sanctuary, with a non-energy shield, build Sorceress, classic Infinity on the Mercenary, and this new Style Points item on the main hand, the Staff. But at this point, I wanna try the Infinity one more time. Level 12 Conviction or when equipped. Now, the, the, the reason why you wanna use this in your main hand, of course, is because of the massive Lightning Pierce that it offers. Negative 55% to enemy Lightning Resistance. Uh, that is only applicable toward the wearer, and I know many of you know this, but I'm just uh, saying it for those who don't, alright? If you put that shit on your mercenary, you're not going to benefit from that negative percent to enemy lightning res. Uh, you'll benefit from the conviction, uh, and that's great, but the problem is when conviction on your mercenary, uh, or on you for that matter, breaks a lightning immunity... It's only one-fifth effectiveness, so you're not piercing the hell out of it when you break it with conviction. You're just breaking it, and then it's only one-fifth effectiveness uh, what is left with the pierce that a level 12 conviction has to offer, which isn't that much. We're talking like an additional 17% or something like that. Alright, so basically you want a ton of pierce. And this character, because of that infinity... Which appears at negative 83%. Alright. Now if I switch off that, of course, you're going down to negative 28%. Uh, so, let's see how well this character prevails in Player's 8 difficulty. I'm going to cast the Energy Shield. I'm going to cast the Armor thing. Uh, frozen Armor. I'm going to... Let's go to the Printed Highlands. Cast Thunderstorm. Uh, what's the damage of Thunderstorm? Oh my god, it's only level 19. That's fine. So I only put a couple points into it. So uh, 4,000 damage. It really sucks. It's just there because... Uh, I just wanted to put one point into it. Energy Shield is level 33. Absorbs 88% uh, damage. Static Field... I maxed that out, so it has a very nice range of 28 yards. And the Nova damage here isn't as impressive, I'm sure, as last video. Uh, because I'm making a few attack with fighters. And uh, in addition to that, I still have a... Look at this. I have a cube on here just for convenience purchase. So I could put a couple more of these sparking Grand Charms of Bounce in there. But I'm just not going to do it. Alright. I'm just not going to do it. And we're going to see how well it performs without doing that. So, let me attempt to Murdering Cold Blood, Shank, and this other little fat right here. Okay, it's not bad. Uh, pay close attention to the mana. Alright, you see the mana? The mana's looking okay. Could be- oh my god, look at how fast- look at how fast it goes up. Look at how fast- it doesn't even need a blue pill. Holy shit. Oh my god! Utter destruction! Oh, the rune went bye-bye! Look at that! See, that's why we need a damn loop filter! You see the rune went bye-bye! When Marshad fell! Uh, 
<laughs> you guys know that we need a new loop filter. Uh, that's why Diablo, or uh, what's it called? Project Diablo 2. I'm going to be playing that. Uh, that is the way for Diablo 2. All right. And we have the old characters. They weren't all butchered, and they didn't do that thing they did to the assassin, the Amazon, and the sorceress. All right. That no one asked for and that nobody likes. And if they say they like it, they're lying. Uh, that's fine. I mean, I lie too sometimes, but I mean, if they say they like that shit, they're lying. Because uh, they butchered his ass big time. I mean, they made a moment, but I'm, I'm not going to go into that. You know, I've done that enough. I don't really give. I, 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 I do give a shit, but I mean, at this point, I'm just not going to bitch about it. Because I need to continue on with this character and go through the Chaos Sanctuary. We'll see how well it compares to the obsession wielding sorceress. All right, so I don't want to take too much time. But yeah, that's a big deal. Look at that. See, we need a loot filter because you see that it goes bye bye. See things, and that's in, that. What if that were a J root? What if that were a J root? Wouldn't that be bullshit? You you might have never known. Uh, that's the thing because it could have fell later. Uh, you might have never known. You might have never seen it fall. Uh, which is the biggest issue here. But okay, so. The moment of truth. How well does this sorceress fare in the chaos? Area? I remember that last one just got the shit kicked out of it. Yeah, I'm even, I'm even gonna kill shit out of the way. Uh, on the way, I'm gonna kill shit on the way. That's how confident I am in this build. Although I might die right here. Ooh, look at this. Rare item. Complete ass. Uh, that's actually another thing about Project Diablo 2 is they've uh, they've made rares actually viable later on. Like a, a body armor like that, uh, it might actually be worth looking at. Made charcoal. Oh my god! Wait, 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 wait. So that's melody. You can make melody with that, uh, which is ass, but you'll get side points for doing it. So it's it's uh, it might be worth it. So identify this grand charm. Okay, so I'll show you the rest of the gear in just a minute here. Is there a boss here? Nope, no boss. All right, so it, it's it's uh, I would I mean look at how fast it's killing him. I would say it's doing a ooh, Merman Sprocket. Uh, I thought those boots are the unique room rim hide boots that were in or worm hide. How do you say that? Let me know in the comments below. I can't. Uh. The uh, boots that uh, never made it to the game. But those are in Project Gal with the Rimhide uniques. Shitty. So far, I, I would say. I mean, yeah, this is definitely. Uh, this is definitely outshining that other build, isn't it? So what I'll do is let me join up again uh, with that build. Even these guys, these guys are actually uh, a bit of a struggle because they are innately lightning immune. But fortunately on this character, I have the Sunder, and I have the Infinity on Merc Scenery, and I have negative 82 or 83 percent tend to be lightning res, so it's not too much of an issue. Alright, another charm. 30 seconds to life. Let me grab some mana. Come to think of it. But let me know in the comments. Have you guys... Uh, do you, Are you going to be playing Project Diablo 2? Are you going to be playing this shit? Uh, doesn't it reset soon? Or are you going... Uh, season 5 or whatever? Or are you going to be playing... Uh, what are the other things? Wokefield? Where you explore space and shit? Are you going to be playing Wokefield or no? Uh, what are the other ones? I mean, that's been out for a couple weeks now. I have been playing some World of Warcraft Classic, it's been a good time. Uh, I've actually taken a break though, I still have the scripts going, it's like, uh... I might have like a week left or something like that. Uh, Diablo 4, that's the one I was thinking of. What about Diablo 4? Are you guys gonna be playing Diablo 4? At this point, I'm actually kind of interested in playing Diablo 3. Uh, just to fuck around for... like... a day. Uh, it actually sounds kinda... Of, sometimes it's kinda of fun just going to that game and messing around. And getting your set handed to you at about 10 hours of gameplay, and then it's pretty much game over. 
Uh, but sometimes I think that can actually be uh, kind of entertaining. And uh, I haven't had a monk in a while. Maybe I'll try a monk. Come to think of it. All right, but let me test this out now against the obsession wielding sorceress. Shit! Ooh, a shekel. Alright, we'll do it by the shekel. Three to six kill damage. Alright, let's try just... Uh, no, I don't want to do that. I'm going to get my ass kicked if I try just Nova. So I'm going to static. Alright, so that wasn't all that bad. Uh, let's see how well now the Obsession one does the Cast Sanctuary, for example. And I'm going to, I'm going to hurry along. I'm going to probably go a little faster, intentionally. So let's see how well that works out. So this one is a non-energy shield build. So as you can see here, my mana is only 485, but I have quite a bit of health here. And I'll even use Call to Arms. And as you can see here, I have an inventory filled with uh, Life or Light GCs. And I guess I'll take that uh, this thing out of here. Uh, do I have something to replace it with? Okay, right there. I'll replace it with that. So now I have a full inventory of that shit. Oh, and I do have a uh, uh, some town portals here. Oh, and I found this last video. So yeah, basically, you can find a nice staff that has your skill on it. And this one had plus three to Lightning Master and plus three to Nova, so absolutely hog. Uh, but it's crazy how they only get plus four to skills, uh, 65 cast rate. Uh, basically, you have higher cast rate and skills if you have Hoto and Spirit, for that matter. So you'd think they had to give you benefit if you don't even have the opportunity to block anymore because you're wearing a staff and you have less uh, opportunity for variation. Uh, but that's not the case. But nonetheless, I actually have a griffin on this character, and this is a better griffin than my last video, uh, than the uh, sorceress I was just showcasing, this crazy amulet. Uh, this is 200 FCR frames right here. So... Let's see how it fares in a couple of these zones. Uh, the mana might be a bit of an issue. Oh my god! It's actually not that bad. Oh, rip my boots again! I just gotta identify that shit. 30% faster run walk, lightning res 6, and poison res 32. Uh, actually, not that bad, but uh, I'm going to leave. I mean, shit, I'd rather have them than these. Although I'm not suffering with resists. So it wouldn't make much sense. No, you're not really going to throw it on those 50. Alright, I'll keep that shit on. Right, okay, and here's uh, battle orders and all that. So now, 3,148 life and 756 mana. Oh my god. This is destroyed. Alright, let's, let's try the Chaos Sanctuary now. Holy shit. Uh, it's actually kind of impressive. I don't recall it doing that well. I mean, look at these guys, though. Look at how long it takes to kill these guys. Uh, that's because it does lag Lightning Pierce by like, quite a bit. I think it's taking longer to kill these guys. Let me know in the comments below. Yeah, what's the Pierce? Negative 30 on this character. Uh, it is a, uh, a pretty interesting uh, Griffin's Eye right there. Okay. We might need further research. Come on. Come on, baby. Uh, if, if that's your preferred. Come on. Damn! Out of mana. Uh, which I think is a, it's a big problem with this character. Holy shit. Yeah, the mana is a big issue. Uh, I mean, I would take silk waves over these, but... Oh my god, where'd the workshops go? Oh shit. Oh shit, I, 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 uh, I, I did. I, did, I, did, I, did, I didn't mean to... Re okay. I didn't really mean to uh, replace them, but okay. I guess uh, those war traps are bye-bye. I don't really got time to go pick them up. We gotta finish the damn video. I 
Yeah, the problem is, but, but what, what I would like over Silk Waves even, I think, would be uh, those one boots. Uh, Alder's boots. Because Alders gives you the 10% damage returned to mana. 10% damage taken returned as mana. I think is how it goes. Uh, which is uh, a, a very impressive stat. Uh, especially when you're dealing with a lot of damage. Uh, like I would be probably on Player's 8, Hell, Chaos, whatever. Uh, you're going to be taking a lot of damage, and this, this build does suffer with mana. So it, it might actually be better than Silk Weaves. I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, it's going to depend. If you're killing less, not as fast, but you're taking more damage, obviously uh, the sand, or the uh, Alder's Boots will be the, the go-to. But if you're killing really fast and not taking much damage, then Silk Weaves, because you get the 5 mana per kill. Uh, so it kind of depends, I think, on on your character's performance as to which ones would be optimal uh, for maintaining mana. Yeah, but that is a problem here. I've definitely run out of mana a lot. I, I get, I, I did run out of the charges of the CTA. So let me, let me cast that up again. Oh my God! W where is he? Lightning immune, like, and then you might run into this if you don't have a Sunder Charm. Holy shit! Uh, where the mercenary might be essential here. And I don't think I have another way of killing this guy. Hydra from the Torch. Oh, he's immune to fire. So, okay, I'll let my mercenary get him. And my mercenary has infinity, fortitude, and Andy's visage with the charm. Alright, but let me know in the comments, which one do you think uh, fared better here? Which one of those two builds? Now look at that 200 FCR though. Look at how, how fast that is. Ooh. Link of hands. 200 faster cast rate on this character. Uh, but you do need, of course, two FCR rings. You have to have the 20 on the amulet. And you have to have Griffin's Eye, basically. And uh, Skin of Upper Mage, of course. If you're going to be using Obsession. Uh, but I think uh, it, it might be a... I didn't, I'd be interested in a uh, Heart of the Oak or even a Studious Temper spirit build. Something like that. Maybe to compare... But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. How did the Obsession one compare to the Infinity Wielding one? Uh, and this one's lightning damage is 7,000 and 200 FCR. Whereas the other one was only 4,000 something and the 105 FCR breakpoint. So there's all that crap to compare. But uh, I appreciate you guys coming by. Uh, if you will, again, like the video and thank you to my patrons. And channel members, blessings to you guys. Some of you have been around for a long freaking time. Uh, you really inclined me to keep making videos. And the videos have been a good time. Do some more garage talks, all that shit. Uh, probably do some Project Diablo 2, some live streams and all that on this channel as well. So, blessings to y'all. And I'll talk to you later. Peace be with you.